Hey, seventh graders. I know it's not ideal to have a math quiz and a science test the same day, but unfortunately that's how it fell. And because of having short days of lessons, we're just going to have to power through it. I will make them both a little bit shorter than normal for you, um, but let's get started. So our vocab for chapter six, a mineral, a naturally occurring inorganic solid that has a crystal structure and a definite chemical composition. Inorganic, not formed from living things or the remains of living things. Crystal, a solid in which the atoms are arranged in a pattern that repeats again and again. Streak, the color of a mineral's powder. Luster, the way a mineral reflects light from its surface. Most hardness scale, a scale ranking 10 minerals from softest to hardest used in testing the hardness of minerals. Cleavage, a mineral's ability to split easily along flat surfaces. Fracture, the way a mineral looks when it breaks apart in an irregular way. Geode, a hollow rock inside which mineral crystals have grown. Crystallization, the process by which atoms are arranged to form a material with, crystal, with a crystal structure. Solution, a mixture containing a solvent and at least one solute that has the pro same properties throughout. A mixture in which one substance is dissolved in another. Rock forming minerals, any of the common minerals that make up most of the rocks of Earth's crust. Granite, a usually light colored igneous rock that is found in continental crust. Basalt, a dark dense igneous rock with a fine texture found in oceanic crust. Grains, the particles of minerals or other rocks that give off rock texture. Texture, the look and feel of a rock's surface determined by the size, shape, and pattern of a rock's grains. Igneous rock, a type of rock that forms from the cooling of molten rock at or below the surface. Sedimentary rock, a type of rock that forms when particles from other rocks or the remains of plants and animals are pressed and cemented. Metamorphic rock, a type of rock that forms from an existing rock that is changed by heat pressure or chemical reactions. Extrusive rock, igneous rock that forms from lava on our surface. Intrusive rock, igneous rock that forms from when, that forms when magma hardens beneath Earth's surface. Sediment, small solid pieces of material that come from rocks or the remains of organisms. Earth materials deposited by erosion. Weathering, the chemical and physical processes that break down rock and other substances. Erosion, the process by which water, ice, wind, or gravity moves weathered particles of rock and soil. Deposition, process in which sediment is laid down in new locations. Compaction, the process by which sediments are pressed together under their own weight. Cementation, the process by which dissolved minerals crystallize and glue particles of sediment together into one mass. Plastic rock, sedimentary rock that forms when rock fragments are squeezed together under high pressure. Organic rock, sedimentary rock that forms from remains of organisms deposited in thick layers. Chemical rock, sedimentary rock that forms when minerals crystallize from a solution. Foliated, a term used to describe metamorphic rocks that have grains arranged in parallel layers or bands. And the rock cycle, a series of processes on the surface and inside Earth that slowly changes rocks from one kind to another. So from lesson one, please remember a mineral is a naturally occurring solid that can form by inorganic processes and that has a crystal structure and a definite chemical composition. That is the exact definition. Each mineral has characteristic properties that can be used to identify it. In general, minerals form, can form in three ways. Some form from organic processes. Others can crystallize from materials dissolved in solutions. Finally, many crystallize as magma and lava cool. Some minerals can also form by, inor by organic processes. When elements and compounds that are dissolved in water leave a solution, crystallization occurs. Uh, minerals form as hot magma cools inside the crust or as lava hardens on the surface. When these liquids cool to a solid state, they form crystals. There were special physical properties of minerals. Some can bend light to produce double images. Some conduct electricity. Some glow when placed under ultraviolet light, and some are magnetic. Lesson two, to study a rock sample, geologists observe the rock's mineral compositions, color, and texture. They have classified rocks into three major groups, igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. Lesson three, igneous rocks are classified by their origin, texture, and mineral composition. People throughout history have used igneous rocks for tools and building materials. And the texture of an igneous rock depends on the size and shape of its mineral crystals. The only exceptions to this rule are the different types of volcanic glass, igneous rock that lacks a crystal structure. 
Most sedimentary rocks are formed through a sequence of processes, weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and cementation. The three major groups of sedimentary rocks are clastic rocks, organic rocks, and chemical rocks. People have used sedimentary rocks throughout history for many different purposes, including for tools and building materials. Any rock that forms from another rock as a result of changes in heat and pressure, or pressure, or both, is a metamorphic rock. Geologists classify metamorphic rocks according to the arrangement of the grains making up the rocks. So foliated or non-foliated, foliated or parallel layers or bands, and non-foliated have random um, grains. Lesson six, forces deep inside earth and at the surface produce a slow cycle that builds, destroys, and changes the rocks in the crust. Many pathways that rocks move, many, there are many pathways that rocks can move through the rock cycle. So complete the questions for chapter six test. Um, like I said, I tried to make that short for you, so please go back and double check something if you have questions. Uh, there will definitely be some matching with the vocab words. Um, I will have the definitions for all the three types of rocks, so igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. There will be some matching on um, a type of rock that belongs to that category, uh, possibly. There will be... Uh, some information on the processes here. So weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, cementation. Um, yeah, there will be a question about geologists, so who studies rocks, and there will probably be a question about the special physical properties of minerals also. Um, like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.